following the manual step by step. We don't have any prevailing winds in here because we are surrounded by forest and the wind comes from the ocean, which is that way to the south of us. We're gonna turn the center ring so that when we open the dome or close the dome, the opening for the dome is away from the wind so that no wind like catches it and blows it off. The manual is saying this Not gap is one. open. This gap is open yeah. and it lays in there for the first one. Mm -hmm. So there's a slot in that piece and then this goes uh, in there, yeah. Yep. 15, 17, 18, 20, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. This is really crazy because like if we get the pressure wrong, then when it's up there, yeah. beams can just drop. So we have to work together as a team. Mm -hmm. First rafter is going in there with that dot. And then we marked the next one, which is going right there with that dot. There with that dot, yeah, right there. Okay, lift it up. You don't have to get the angle right. Stage one. Okay. It's gonna go up there, so I need to get the other ladder. Like, I'm gonna lift it up, pull this ladder away, and then you pull this ladder out of here. And let's put this ladder where this ladder is. I'm already on it, so. Just you have to watch your fly. head, because I don't want it to fall on your head. Like they even say in the manual to wear a safety helmet, oh, okay. just in case. Oh god. Hold it. Hey, yeah. kudos to India for teaching me the head technique. Okay. Yeah, hold the ladder. Just don't get hit. Okay, just, just go nice and slow. Because I just hope these stay in place. Oh, Is this smart? Yeah. I feel pretty good right now. Okay. It's just American Ninja Warrior yurt course. Is this board still in the notch? Yes. <sighs> you want the other one? Yeah. Okay, turn relay. You see the mark? Yeah. Just watch your head. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Woo! Yeah. It's still nerve wracking. Like it's not secure. Like <laughs> I would not move it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Are ah! you okay? <laughs> What's the problem? That was so nerve wracking. Ugh. I, if if you have three people, I would definitely highly recommend having three people. Or scaffolding. I mean. Or scaffolding. Yeah. We're just living. But that wasn't bad. Like put it on my head. Yeah. I should have thought that earlier. Our neighbor Julian came through with the 12 footer. Yeah. Putting it on the head and then having the freedom to like, that's not by the book, 
The manual says use hard hats and extreme caution, but that is going to be yeah. Blackfish Hollow style. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, we gotta go get more some more beans. I mean, to be honest, it looks like the UFOs are going to come visit us through that hole. <laughs> That last one was just too heavy for me and um, we thought there's no way this is how it's supposed to be. So we referred to the manual to see if we missed anything and Nicole caught it. So what did you catch? Yeah, it says, it works best to set the pin end in completely, bring the other end up under the cable, push the lattice wall out a little with uh, your shoulder, not too far, and then hook the rafter onto the cable. So I'm doing it backwards. I was doing lattice wall to yeah. ring. We gotta do pin and ring first, then lattice wall second. Yeah. Okay. What's really amazing is that all the mosquitoes and the bugs are clustered in like a colony above the ring, like they're worshiping the circle. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Okay, is it in all the way? Yeah, so it's in, the pin is in now. Here, hold, hold it there. I'm gonna come up. That was easier. Okay. <laughs> and then I just lift a little bit. I was really afraid I was gonna break the lattice wood, so I'm holding the tension cable, and uh, I was for tackiness. <laughs> and then I just kind of pull it back, push the tension cable out, pull the board back. Don't pinch your finger, and it drops into the slot. So we're gonna do this 7,587 more times. <laughs> All right, it's the next morning and all the work Nicole and I did, the dark looks fantastic, but the fact that the light has come out, um, we've seen some mistakes we made. So one mistake that I don't want you guys to make if you're doing this yurt for the first time is look at these rafters. Looks pretty good, right? They're, the tension cable is sitting right in the notch right there. But look, these rafters are upside down. Yep, sure enough, we checked the manual. The reason we know this is because this morning we went to the next step and we're supposed to put a screw in there to trap the tension cable in that notch and the screws on the wrong side. So we've been remedying our mistake. Let me show you a correct one. 
also made a mistake because I built a lot of garden arbors and I always build the garden arbor with the, the nose on the top and that's not correct in this case. So look at this one over here. This is correct. See how the long part is down. It almost looks like a shark that's upside down. And you can see how now we have the screw hole in there. So now we have a screw going through the notch, trapping the tension cable in that slot. So I'll show you how I'm spending my morning today. <laughs> Reversing like 50 of these guys. What I'm finding is gloves help a lot and I don't want to break the lattice wall. Like I really don't want to break the wood. So I'm gonna, I'm holding on to the tension cable and I'm pulling with my left hand and that gets the board out of there, but I'm keeping pressure going into the ring because I don't want the pin to drop out of the ring. I'm putting it in the correct position and then it slides much better in there. And then Nicole is walking around putting in these screws. All right, screws. Yes. What are you finding? I'm just putting it through the hole and you just have to make sure that you don't put it in all the way, like all the way through so it cracks the board. Just like that. Nice. Okay, everything's sitting perfect. All the roof beams are screwed in and attached to the tension cable. But look at that gap right there above the door. We left that gap there on purpose because now we have these boards that are notched differently than the other ones. And these sit on top of the door frame. So let's go put them in. Notch it on the cable. Okay, can you hold that tension? Can you hold it there? Push into the ring. What we're finding is that we're able to push or pull the door frame uh, a good inch or two, and that's playing with the level and the door frame being plumb. So we got Nicole on the reader, and I'm adjusting forward and back, and she's telling me when it's level. It's level. Okay.
All right, it's 6 p.m. And we have all of the support trusses in up there. And we brought in the windows with the frames and we have them set in the strategic positions they're gonna be when we install them. And Nicole is deciding where the windows are gonna go because she has all of this laid out, kitchen, eating area, so on. Actually, let me just let her explain it to you guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what are we doing with the inside of the yurt? So when you first walk in, it's gonna be all open, of course, it's a yurt. Um, when you look off to the left, it will be the kitchen. So when you step over here, you'll be entering into the kitchen. So right here, we're gonna put like the sink and the countertops and the hanging pots and all that. So here, when you turn around, we're gonna have a big island right here. So we're gonna be chopping, making food, um, entertaining guests kind of thing. And then you'll step over here and then we'll have our sitting eating area right here. Um, the table, all that. Which will be lit by that window. Which will be lit by the window, which will also light the kitchen as well. Kind of the window will share responsibility for that. Um, and then you step over here will be like the living room area. Um, we're going to have the fireplace somewhere in this area. Well, not the fireplace, but the wood burning stove. Wood burning stove, yeah. Wood burning stove in this area. So this will be like the living room, sitting area. And then over here will be like the yoga, my yoga area, Jake's martial arts area, stuff like that. And then we'll have a window here that already comes with the yurt. It's like a, like a plastic- A vinyl window. Vinyl window, which will go here, which also let more light in. But it's a larger window that's at 12 o'clock and the front door is at six o'clock. Yeah, so it's, this is, I'm facing the front door right now. So this will be like the sitting area trees that's a big noise so if you continue on this way we're gonna put a loft right up here so Jake and I are gonna have our bedroom up top so we'll have our loft up here and then down below we're gonna have like our office area so we'll have like more like bean bags a chill kind of area I guess at some point um, we're gonna get another door um, so we're gonna put just a regular standard door here but it'll be a glass door yeah which will be a glass door that will open up to the bathroom, which is going to be over here. But for right now, this is just going to be below the, the loft. And it'll just be like a sitting area. And then, yeah. Right now. But this door will also go out to the compost toilet, but also to fruit tree orchard and garden area, which will be in this little valley that is behind Nicole. So that's what we got so far. And then a deck all around the yurt, so we can walk around it and have outdoor eating and... Yeah. Outdoor yoga and outdoor qigong. Yeah, so it will be, yeah, we already, yeah, that's another thing. And then you just come over here and we're back to the front door. And then we'll have obviously a patio or um, uh, a deck right here. And then probably off to the side, we'll have like a mud room where we'll take off our dirty shoes and all that stuff. So, because we are in the rainforest, so we yeah. gotta have that. Nice tour of the uh, circle. Yeah. <laughs>